Leah Chisholm here for St. Evacs Athletics, and I'm with your Boston Pizza Athletes of the Week. Hi, I'm Zara Batul, and I play scrum half for the ex-woman rugby team, and I'm from Waterloo, Ontario. My name is Rainy Ribeiro. I'm a midfielder for the X-Men soccer team, and I'm from Cambridge, Ontario. Favorite color? I'd say blue, because Santa Fax. Blue and white. I'd say both, for sure. And Zara? My favorite color is blue, too, not to copycat. I just think it's likely the best color out there. My dream job would be to be an astronaut and go to the moon. I always thought that would be pretty cool to float around. What flag would you post up there if you got there? I'd probably make my own flag, just a big Z, kind of like Zorro. It's a pretty good idea. Thank you. And Randy? I don't think mine's as exciting as that, but I definitely have to say a professional soccer player. Getting paid to do what I do here instead of paying to go here. Not, not, I take it. It would be a good choice, I think. <laughs> Favorite song would have to be Don's Akujudo by Don Omar, for sure. How's that go? Uh, I can't remember. I can't speak Spanish. I'm Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite song is Absolutely Anything by Beyonce. Preferably, it would be a music video, not just a song. To get the dance moves? Yeah, definitely the dance moves. Do you have any of them? I wish. That's all. I really wish. <laughs> Hidden talents? Um, the only one I can think of off the top of my head is that I can make my tongue touch my nose. Would you like to uh, share that with us? Pretty impressive. Yeah. Pretty impressive. It's all right. <laughs> Something that not many people know, but I don't do it very often. People are going to be asking you all the time now, I bet. I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. <laughs> and do you have any hidden talents? Um, the only hidden talent I can think of is I can stand on top of my head. And would you mind showing us that? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, Mike Kavanaugh, I didn't do a uh, waiver form here. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite holiday would have to be the study day that's coming up in November 8th. It's always nice to get a day off school. And study? Yep, and study. It's always good. Are you going to study? Definitely. I always study. No winking? No winking. <laughs> Serious face. <laughs> Randy? Um, well, this one's going to make up for my last answer about my dream vacation spot. But I'm going to say Christmas because there's a chance for me to go home and see my family again. So Aww. I know that'll make the parents back home. And I there don't, don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Love you, Mom. <laughs> I had chili for lunch today. How was that? It was actually so good. I made it myself. I'm actually a great cook. <laughs> um, I didn't make my own food today, actually. I went to the KMC and got a chicken wrap on sun-dried with everything on it, so it was pretty good. Tasty? I enjoyed it. Very tasty. Worth your money? Yeah, uh, A little pricey, but yeah, I'd say it was worth it, for sure. <laughs> Favorite Disney movie? Mmm, it's tough. Lion King. Um, close second? I don't know. No, just Lion King. Classic. Final answer? Final answer for sure. <laughs> My favorite Disney movie would be Aladdin just because when I was little and growing up I always had dreams to be Jasmine so that I could marry Aladdin. It never <laughs> happened but one day. Still got time. Still a goal? Still a goal. Top goal. <laughs> Definitely underwear. I wouldn't go a day without it. <laughs> Randy? Gee, long sleeve spandex because out here it gets really cold. So playing in the game definitely needed or else you're going to be cold out on the field. My biggest fan would definitely be my grandmother. She's a crazy fan. She gives the refs a hard time a lot of the time and she gives it to me if I have a bad game. So she definitely have to be my biggest fan. Has she come down here to watch you before? Uh, she hasn't, but uh, I'm pretty sure she's making a trip next year, so I'm sure she'll have a blast out here. At least she can see it on webcast, hey? Oh, she never misses one. So. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> and you? I think my biggest fan is actually just a little thing. Her name's Me Too. She's my parrot back home. And <laughs> she doesn't come out to the games, but she hears all about it when I get home. 
She actually has a little picture of her holding up Go X Go for our next game. <laughs> Like I eat cow beef. Is that beef? <laughs> Randy? What's my beef? I don't I don't think I have any beef to be honest, but if I had to say beef it'd be like ground beef, I guess. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Favorite vacation spot? I'm gonna say a place I haven't been before that I really wanna go and it's gonna be Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Uh, especially with the World Cup coming up, I would have loved to go down there and watch that. But even if it wasn't there, I'd still like to visit because it's nice and warm. Yeah. And Brazilian girls are pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> I think my dream vacation is just going home. Now that I've gone off to university, I don't get to go home and see my folks that often. So my spot would just be going home to see my mom and my dad and the rest of my family. <laughs> And before we go, the Athletes of the Week would like to give a quick shout out. I'd like to give a shout out to my friends, my roommates, and especially to my family back home in Waterloo, which happens to be the best out of the Tri-Cities, a lot better than Cambridge I hear. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to all my friends and family back home. I miss you guys, see you guys in a few weeks. And a shout out to everyone in Cambridge. We all know that Cambridge is a much better place to live than Waterloo. And a shout out to the women's rugby team when they traveled to PEI this weekend for AUS. Good luck, Zara, and good luck to the rest of the women's rugby team. Thank you.